Hi! <laughs> Welcome. Sorry, a few technical glitches getting started this morning, but um, I'm all good now. <laughs> Hope you can hear me okay and see me okay. Sorry, just moving some things around. Yes. So it's been a couple of weeks since I saw you last. Hello, hello. Lovely to see you. <laughs> A couple of weeks since I saw you last, a lot has happened in that time, so I have a huge pile of things here to talk to you about, and also some events that I've been to to talk to you about as well. So, it's really cold and really windy, so hopefully the rain is going to hold off so it doesn't get too loud. <laughs> it's been really crazy, really, really crazy. But we are all safe and warm and dry. Well, I say warm. <laughs> So, welcome to you. If you're watching, this is my Facebook live video on Friday the 11th of May, or you may be watching later on YouTube. Um, and that is fine. I hope you enjoy all the things I have to show you and talk about today. You can ask me anything you like at any point. Um, I do have a question section at the end, so if you're watching live, hang on to them till then. Um, otherwise, email me, Shelley at spincushions.com, and I will answer them next time I get on, or leave a comment on the Facebook post or YouTube, whatever you like. So, let me tell you what I've done since I saw you last. Last time I mentioned I, I was going to plan to do some sewing and you may not hear from me again about that. Well, the good news is I actually made two dresses and I have worn them both in public and I'm wearing one today. You can't see because I've got my double crochet on because it's so cold, but I will take it off. Dress, pockets, it's awesome. <laughs> And I made a blue one as well. This one's, I think this one's my favourite because it's made out of knit fabric and it's really stretchy. Hello! So it is super comfortable and I love my pockets. <laughs> I'm going to get warm again. <clears throat> so yes, success! And I think I might even make some more because they're just so comfortable. And if I can sew them, they mustn't be too hard. <laughs> so yay. Um, what else have I done? I spoke to you about how I'm reworking my giantess pattern. Um, it, so, <laughs> I have made some progress. Sorry, I've got so many things here, I'm trying not to knock everything off. I am making a, an 8 ply Bendigo Wool North Cotton version. This is the Storm Cloud colour. So, I have made one, two, three of the smaller squares so far. Hello! <laughs> and I have made one of the super large squares. And this one's 20 inches. Don't ask me what that is in centimetres. My brain is not working well enough. So I have made one of these. I'm going to make... I'm halfway there. Yeah, I'm halfway there until this sample is finished. There's also a four-ply version in the Arctic. I might have shown you that last time, which is a really um, icy blue colour. Um, but for the videos, I did try... I have made um, the video for this pattern, the smaller one. These are unblocked, sorry, a little bit squishy. <laughs> so I was going to make the videos using that, but it's just too dark to see. So I ended up making the videos. So I put an extra version <laughs> in the, the glacier grey. So that is cool. I did plan on doing the, the big square this week as well, but yeah, life kind of happened and I just it's going to take couple of days to do the video for that one so I'm going to put that off until next week um, yes so that has been fun <laughs> what else have I done um, oh, I've written the patterns for them and they're being tested I think the small one has been completely tested so I'm going to get that chart made for that one the big one is probably about halfway tested now hello <laughs> I'm saying hello if you're watching on YouTube I'm just saying hello people are popping in on Facebook live and saying good morning and hello so pardon me for that hello if you're watching on YouTube <laughs> thank you yes the bigger square is so this is a smaller square you can see the the shape but that's actually based on the corner of the larger square you can see the similar so the smaller square starts here basically, and it's just a round version without the fancy bits in the middle. Yes. So lots of fun. <laughs> um, what else have I done? I have sent two emails to my newsletter groups while since I saw you last. One was my work in progress Wednesday where I showed 
that I had actually finished something. And now that I'm picking this up, I'm sure I showed you this last time. So I, I did an email all about my Sirens Atlas blues patterns all being joined up, <laughs> finally. That's huge. And this has actually been keeping us warm on our bed. Do you know that we have never had a crochet blanket on our bed before? But now we do. <laughs> and it's actually, like it's cotton, but it's heavy. And it just adds that extra layer of warmth over our doona, which we need at the moment because it is freezing. So yeah, yay. So sorry, showing you that again. So that is my Sirens Atlas patterns all joined up into one. And the other email I sent was this week where I did a bit of a, an expose on um, yarn retreats, wool gathering, because that's where I've just been last weekend. So I'll tell you all about that a little bit later. Um, what else? So my book progress, yay! <laughs> um, the cover's almost finished and it's looking sensational. I'm so excited. Just, I'm at that point where I'm like, I can't believe that I've done this. I'm actually looking at the print copy just on my desk over there. I can't show you because I want it to be, I want you to see the real thing. There's still a couple of tweaks to be made. So it's just like, it's so exciting. Um, I've sent um, copies of it off to a few people who are test doing a beta read, like a preliminary read through for me, just to check that it all flows. There's nothing glaringly wrong with it, <laughs> that kind of thing. So it's a bit scary putting it out there for other people's opinions. But anyway, I think so far they're, they're liking it. <laughs> so that's good. Um, oh yes, you're actually having, right now as you speak, you're actually having a sneak peek at two of the projects in the book. <laughs> I'm wearing them. This one here. It's actually in the book, it's made in a different yarn, different colour. <laughs> I know, it's so exciting. Yes, Bryony knows all about this one because Bryony has just made a comment on the Facebook Live, dyed yarn for me to make this for the actual project in the book. So yay. And this one here is my favourite project from the book that I'm wearing. It is a big shawl and it's fringy and it's super long. It goes all the way around and I love it. <laughs> and I'm actually, I actually had somebody helped me out by making this for me and part of the deal was they get to keep it. I actually want to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to have to make one myself obviously because it's just comfortable and warm and lovely. I love it. So there, sneak peeks for you. <laughs> uh, what else happened this week for the book? Ah, I was mentioned before that I've had some people from around the world make some squares for me for the book. And I, I'm sure you know Deirdre, look at what I made with Sophie's Universe Designer. She very kindly <laughs> um, offered, was making, made some squares for me. And she sent them back in February and they never arrived. So that's terrible. I felt awful saying, like, I'm sorry, they're just not here. So I ordered the yarn. Like she told me the colours she'd used. So I ordered the yarn and just, it arrived, I don't know, Monday or something. And so Tuesday I actually made the squares in her colours, took photos and everything ready to put them in the book. And then Deirdre's arrived. <laughs> she actually remade them, the lovely girl. Remade them and sent them to me. So here's a couple of squares. She's used a little yarn and a little hook. So that's the deco pattern from the book. And this one here is called Chicane. So they're very Deirdre with her colours and they're super lovely. So yay, they arrived. I now have all of the alternate colours. Um, I'm just thinking, I'll probably reach over here. I just realised a couple more came since I saw you last too. And that's um, from Queen Bad Jane in Sydney. She's made a couple. She's made the cogs pattern in two different colours and different yarns. She's made it this way. And she's also made it this way. So yay. So I now have all of my friends from around the world. All their squares have arrived, which is awesome. So yay. Right, that's the book. <laughs> Thank you very much for all your lovely comments and all your hearts and things. I am so happy <laughs> with how it's all working out. Okay. Sorry, I'm more tangled up now that I've been showing things off. <laughs> All right, so now I can tell you all about wool gathering. So, wool gathering happened for the second time, just the weekend just gone. Well, I say weekend, we, went, we arrived on Thursday and came home Sunday afternoon. And it's a, a gathering of people who love yarn. You can, knitters, spinners, dyers, embroiderers, 
you name it. Anyone who wants to play with wool, yarn is there, or would like to be there, I'm sure. It's put together by Karen, um, and I was very lucky to be lucky to be asked to teach crochet classes at both last year's and this year's. Super lucky. It's just it's just one of those events that's just a really really fun thing to do. Um, it's, you get to do classes. Well, I get to teach them, which is great. <laughs> you can get to choose different ones. Um, there's a lot of time to just sit and catch up with people. You, people are knitting, crocheting, working with yarn from breakfast time till late at night. <laughs> it's just everywhere you look, there's somebody working on something, which is just awesome. Um, there's so many other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, so I don't forget anything, I've made a list of things that happen on every day. And I'm going <laughs> to talk you through them. So it started on Thursday. Um, teachers are supposed to arrive about one o'clock um, on the Thursday, but I had a bit of a detour on my way because the Great Ocean Road Woolen Mill is kind of halfway between me and Tandy, where, where the event is held. And Sally Rabbles from Tasmania had flown up to Melbourne on Wednesday night and then caught the train out to Camperdown, which is near Great Ocean Road Woolen Mill, on Thursday morning. And they picked her up and she had a bit of a tour and walk around the meet the alpacas. <laughs> and so rather than Isabel and Nick having to drive um, Sally out to wool gathering, I said I'd come past and pick her up on the way. So we had lunch there. It was lovely, lovely lunch. Saw the baby Kriya, just a week old, baby alpaca. Had a look around, feel some yarn, bit of a chat. <laughs> it was really cool. So that was really lucky, lucky and fun. And then Sally and I get to, got to have a catch up and a chat on the way to Tandy. <laughs> Um, and when, you, when everyone gets there, teachers, um, participants, everybody comes there, goes there on the Thursday afternoon and everybody gets to choose a project bag, and, which is a goodie bag. And in that goodie bag are so many cool things. So let me show you what's in mine. And they're all themed too, because as you know, no surprise, I chose the blue. <laughs> Hello. Um, lots and lots of things. What have we got in here? A gorgeous pouch. Perfect for crochet hooks. So, yay. Um, thank you to Bespoke Accessories for Knitting and Crochet by Judith. Yes. So thank you, Judith, for that. Fantastic. That's just perfect for my crochet for crochet hooks. Yay. One cool thing. Of course there's yarn. <laughs> there's some delicious four-ply, very red white gum wool. I wish we had touch of vision or something. <laughs> it's just so, so soft and delicious. It really is beautiful. Yay. <laughs> um, oh, sorry, I've gone all out of focus now. There we go. <laughs> Some beautiful, this colour is called the teal one, <laughs> Maven, which is uh, merino and silk, and Yak, yeah, which is just delicious, from the girls Kylie and Anita. At, least at um, the pearl box, sensational, love it, love it, and they very kindly, where is it, in here somewhere, gave me an extra one as well because we had spent a lot of time together. This one's called Inkwell, and it's just beautiful. Oh, it looks a bit purpley on the camera, but it's it's definitely blue. It's beautiful. So this one's the same, the merino silk and yak. It just feels delicious. It's so soft. You can see a theme happening. They match the bag. <laughs> Another little one here. This one is from Circus Tonic, the lovely colour. <laughs> it's a beautiful Yeah, I think I actually have a plan for this one, for all of these this time. I, I think I've still got all of my mini skeins from last year. Um, Adigo Mills, which is um, a pal packer. This is the natural colour alpaca. It's just beautiful. I mean, if there's one thing I can say about all of these yarns, they are soft. They are delicious. Um, what else? Aha. Uh -huh. Some Tandy yarn. So, the place where we have our, the wool gathering is called Tandy. Um, they've been raising Polworth sheep there for, since forever. <laughs> it's gone out of focus again. Hopefully it comes back. I'm sorry. There we go. <laughs> so this is beautiful. Um, this is Four Ply the Origins range, the colours devised by Bryony. Delicious. 
and there was another skate of yarn that I gifted to somebody so that was a like a confetti type multicolored one ah, we have a little pair of cute scissors another pair of scissors for my collection we've got a little safety sheath <laughs> and the blades are so tiny very very cute what else have we got ah <laughs> We have a white gum wool shade card, which are the best shade cards ever because you can fondle and play with the delicious soft yarn. <laughs> and you have all the information about the fabulousness that is white gum wool as well. Um, a little secret about white gum wool that I've been keep keeping it. Um, they are releasing a collection in soon. <laughs> and I have two crochet patterns that will be part of it. So that's pretty exciting. I can't show you them yet, but I can tell you that I do have them in there. So, yay. <laughs> that's kind of two of the secret, super secret projects I've been working on for quite some time. We have a beeswax wrap, which I've always been interested to try. So it's very cool. So instead of using glad wrap, you know, cling wrap, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. So yay. A bit of environmentally friendly. Thing. And there's also some soak in there for washing your woolens in, so yay. Oh, what's this? A little card from me. <laughs> I put, I organised to carry this little bit of a discount code for the people there for my Sarah's Atlas collection. We have Bryony. There's a, a copy of her delicious pattern, knit pattern. Yeah, special code to get that. Now Sam, the littlest stitch, Samantha, who's watching now, put this in, which is just the best thing ever. It is a little US-UK conversion chart and it's not only got the terms but also the chart symbols on it. So that's a really cool resource. So well done Sam. Fantastic. It's really cool. Great idea. Um, Claire, Knit Share Love, gifted us a pattern here, a little beanie which is super cool. Thank you Claire. <laughs> and it still goes on. Still more. Oh, more yarn. Okay, this one is from Rosehaven Alpacas which is in Victoria. It's beautiful, lovely, soft, natural coloured alpaca. It's cool. Ah, my jingle jangles. <laughs> These are some really cool stitch markers. Um, and there's also, whoops, oh, I just realised I haven't got something here. So I'm using it already. <laughs> anyway, I can't get them out, but they're really cute. They're little, um, hexagonal markers little um, golden hexagonal markers and there's a little sheet too so they are super cute oh you won't be able to see them but um, anyway cute wonderful and there was also a pin that i have stuck on my um fringe field bag and it's not here <laughs> so that's lovely that's a super lovely gift all of these things are donated by super awesome sponsors um, and it just is so nice to be to be able to play with all of this super cool stuff. Oops, I've picked up something else. Yes, so goodie bags. So that's a great way to start. <laughs> there was also raffle tickets and um, a program for the weekend and all sorts of things in there. Um, there's a, a um, treasure hunt where you can find out this list of questions, find out the answers, all of the historic answers to things that happened at Tandy and there's prize draws. Um, yeah. Just great. So I'm still I'm still just at arriving. So you can see <laughs> it's a wonderful weekend. When I got there, um, got there a little bit early, so we could catch up with a few people and then greet people as they arrived. So when everybody getting their bags and everything, and after everybody had arrived, we all gathered in the um, the cider shed, the apple cider shed, and Karen welcomed us. You know, you can just imagine an audience full of, you know, 70, 80 odd people, all crocheting, knitting, listening, laughing. <laughs> it's fantastic. We had a raffle draw straight away. People won prizes that, straight away. It was awesome. I didn't win this year. I did last year. So never mind. <laughs> um, what else happened? Ah, then we had a bit of a relax and then we had dinner and everybody hangs around because um, I stayed at the homestead. Being, being a teacher, but a lot of other people stayed in um, places around the place. So about 8.30, everybody took off and just, just left with us teachers and helpers. So we had a bit of 
fun and frivolity <laughs> after everybody left. And while people were still there, I mean, it was just one long laugh fest, really. So then Friday came and it was time for workshops. So after there was a cafe there, opening at 7.30, so we could have a beautiful coffee. <laughs> um, then we had workshops. So I ran a workshop every day. On Friday, it was Granny Square Crochet for Beginners. And it was just one of the best workshops I have ever done. There were just, there was 11 people in it, so it's quite large. Um, but everybody was just so keen and enthusiastic and willing to have a go. And well, I think it helps that there are people who are familiar with yarn, so they're not scared of holding yarn and manipulating it. So it was just really, really fun. And they were all so keen that um, I went straight to my tricks and tips. I didn't go the basics now, this is the alternative way out. It was just like they were all wanted to learn all the ways that I do things straight away. And they were just really persistent and awesome and everyone succeeded. Even Claire, knit shell, knit shell love. Um, she's, a, she's a knitwear designer, like she teaches all around the world, Edinburgh, everywhere. She was still crocheting that night. I, I got her. <laughs> so that was really cool. Um, even then, the following day, I still spotted her with a crochet hook in hand, so that was super cool. <laughs> um, what else? So the workshops went from nine to one. We had morning tea provided to us, all delivered. <laughs> then it was lunchtime. Then we had a guest speaker on Friday. We had Donna from, well, she has, actually heads up a few different charities um, because Wool Gathering for Karen is all about warmth and community. And Donna came to speak. Sorry, I've just had a phone call. Um, I need to. <laughs> um, yes. Yes, Donna was awesome. Um, she runs the school project, um, the period project, and sleeping bags for homeless. And she was talking about the school project. So kids in crisis, they're removed from their home, but um, they need to keep attending school, but they've got nothing. They've been they've left with the clothes on their back. So um, what Donna does is puts together school packs. So a school bag, all the things you need, pencils, pens, all that sort of stuff, hats, and there's emergency kits ready for kids. So that was awesome. We all brought along some supplies to be added to those. Um, so that was awesome. Um, what else? Uh, Friday. <laughs> Lots of playtime, dinner, more playtime. And on, then we did it all again on Saturday. Saturday was a really cool day. Um, I did amigurumi in the workshops in the morning. So I taught people how to make a ball first just to get the whole increasing decreasing thing back down and then we made some tandy sheep <laughs> so i've got a shawn sheep version the sheep sometimes the sheep at tandy have little coats to protect their fleece so we made either a shawn sheep or a doctor a woolly sheep <laughs> so i will release these patterns next week i just haven't got around to it yet so you will be able to make your sheep as well if you want to. Um, then we had lunch and there was a marketplace so a few people um, sold their wares. I helped Sally on the white gum wool stand. Um, there was yeah, Great Ocean and Woolen Mills were there, the Pearl Box were there, We Love Knitting was there, Bonnie and Kate who make project bags were there, um, Janet my spin on a thing was there. Lots of yarny fun to be had at the marketplace. Um, there was a new yarn launched so as part of wool gathering we all got to vote on a combination of yarns and um, a name and I can't remember what else. There were a few things we could put our votes in and then Karen collated them all. And Tom at Tandy and Nick and Isabel at Great Ocean Rural Mill came up with a new yarn called um, Eva, which is a mix of the Tandy Polworth yarn and the Suri alpaca, which is a, a very silky fibre of our Suri alpaca and this is what I made with it. So that was super cool. That yarn was launched there. It's called Eva. Did I say that already? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's really lovely. It's got a really nice soft snuggly feel. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, more playtime dinner. <laughs> more playtime after dinner. In fact, I took this to work on. 
which was probably a bit foolish. Um, I went to block it on the after I got home and one of the corners I'd put in the wrong spot so I was blocking it and it was like not working I couldn't figure out why I had skipped this bit completely on the pattern when I was working it I had oh look, I made so many mistakes I skipped three chain spaces so I've, I've actually had to undo this <laughs> quite, quite a ways because I was having too much fun chatting and other things instead of concentrating on my crochet but anyway it's a price I willingly pay <laughs> Sunday um, we had a group photo in the morning and everybody to Karen thanked everybody for coming all that sort of thing we had a three-hour class where I taught some Tunisian crochet which was great really really cool just a nice relaxing way to finish off because it's very soothing and we were all very tired and brains were full after three days of classes. I mean, they weren't just crochet classes, I should say, but there was knitting classes and spinning classes and wool embroidery and dyeing classes. So we had Bryony teaching dyeing, um, Janet teaching spinning, Libby, truly Myrtle, from, came over from New Zealand to teach. She taught a couple of classes with knitting. Um, Claire from Knit Share Love taught knitting. Georgie from Tiki Knits taught knitting. Um, I think I didn't actually get to talk to these ladies, but Prue taught the Sayori, Sayori weaving and Anne some wool embroidery. So there were classes going on the whole time, which was really cool. Um, what else? Then we sort of had lunch and then people started to leave, which was really sad because we all had such a wonderful time. But it happens. <laughs> I suppose if you don't leave, <laughs> you don't get to appreciate it as much next time you go. Um, yes, so that was it. It was a really, really wonderful weekend. Um, it was so good to hang out with everybody. It's just so nice being in a place of all like-minded people. Um, you can never go from one place to another quickly <laughs> because you'd walk past a little fireplace and, oh, hi, and have a bit of a chat and you'd get a few steps further and, oh, hi, and have a bit more of a chat. Um, but it was really, really fun. The whole weekend is just super fun. So if you ever get a chance to go, really cool cool all right what else um knit crate i got another knit crate in the mail just yesterday i don't think i've actually shown you the box so this is how it comes in the mail excuse me a bit battered I'll open it up <laughs> this month's theme is contemporary and i think it's my favorite one of the three that i've received this is the yarn here it's lovely and soft it's a sock yarn fingering weight <clears throat> um, it is 40% merino wool, 40% Peruvian highland wool and 20% nylon so and it's all natural colors too there's no dye so I'm guessing that the darker one is the Peruvian but it's really lovely um, and the two patterns this month are this one here which is the knit pattern which I really like that just looks really soft and drapey I think that will be lovely or the crochet pattern is this clutch yeah which is not really my thing but I think that is <laughs> so yay i'll put a link down to my blog post about that where you can find out about the subscription fund um and that's it so questions this week sorry i'm, I'm having to wrap up because that phone call i actually do need to return <laughs> that's quite, quite important um demi on youtube made a comment that sort of made me think i'm just going to read you what she said I'd be really interested in a podcast on how you started in the crocheting business, crafting business. Some of us are probably new to your channel and don't really have any background. Um, and we, I, <laughs> want to know everything. So that's a good idea. Um, I'm actually giving a talk in a few weeks, months, I can't remember, <laughs> to people about that very thing. So perhaps I can record, I mean, say my speech to you guys as well, if that's something you'd be interested in. I don't know if, if there is something you're interested in just um, drop me an email or comment down below let me know exactly what you want to know about doing a crafty business and I'll let you know what I can happy to share because it's fun <laughs> um, questions <laughs> didn't really I went back looking through all of my questions my emails for the last couple of weeks just to see if there's any questions that would really help you but most of it's just been you know a problem with a, a link or something like that so um, don't really have anything like that to share with you. A lot of them were just having really sweet comments, so that was really nice, actually. Um, yes. 
that's that. So in the coming days, I am going to um, do the video for this gyro test pattern. Um, so I probably should have met, should mention that I'm going to do a crochet along with this pattern. If you purchase it now, you get an update to the updated version when it's ready that will have chart and links to videos in it. Um, it'll be just a quiet crochet along. I'll put a link down below to that. Um, sewing. The lovely Sam gifted me some beautiful fabric. Sorry, Russell Russell, which is beautiful soft drapey that I think is going to look lovely in the dress. <laughs> so I will now do some sewing. Um, Organising some more workshops over in Mount Gambia. I might do that tomorrow because I've got to go over there, pick up new glasses. Next time you see me, I'll have new glasses. Exciting because they're pretty bright. <laughs> Um, and yes, getting that sheet pattern out there. So, if you're interested in making a little sheep, <laughs> I will put the pattern up next week. I'll probably tell you about it next week too. So, that's that. If you have any questions, please do just drop me a line, spin cushions, at, sorry, Shelly at spincushions.com, and I will get back to you or I'll tell your answer here on the video next week. So, have fun, stay warm, and I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.